All right, my brothers, sisters, and friends, praise the Lord, everybody. We truly thank and praise God for blessing us to come back to you once again. Uh, truly, God is good, and His mercy endureth forever. And it is just a delight and a blessing to be able to come back to you on this day. I personally want to thank and praise God for uh, touching my body. I'm feeling so much better today. My voice is a lot better. I have gotten over this cold. It seemed to have just uh, gone through the house. Uh, but I thank and praise God that I'm so much better on today. Uh, as I so often say, I wouldn't take something for my journey right now. All right, now, my brothers, sisters, and friends, um, uh, on one of the last videos, we um, sent a message to uh, Tommy Ingram uh, asking him to explain Revelation chapter 5, verses 1 and verse 7. And um, Tommy Ingram has refused to comment on Revelation chapter 5, uh, and the reason why he has refused to do it is because uh, he knows that he cannot prove that Jesus is God the Father, all right? So I I, I will, uh, you know, I, I, I would say that he's not going to do it. He's not going to comment on Revelation chapter 5. There is no way that Tommy Ingram or any other oneness person can take Revelation chapter 5 and rightly divide the word of truth and come up with the idea that Jesus Christ is God the Father. They have to make that distinction between God the Father and Jesus Christ the Son. All right, now we're going to look at that real quick, and then we're going to close this video out because we have uh, a lot of work to do tonight. <clears throat> so let's take our Bibles and go to Revelation chapter 5. And look at those seven verses. All right. And Reve Revelation chapter 5 verses 1 through 7 proves that Jesus Christ is not God the Father. It shows that God the Father is sitting on the throne. And Jesus Christ the Lamb comes and takes the book out of the right hand of God the Father. Proving that God the Father and Jesus Christ the Son, who is the Lamb of God, do exist. That they are two different persons. All right? Glory to God. And we see that pretty much all through the book of Revelation, as we do through other books. So uh, we know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and not God the Father. All right? God the Father is a person. Jesus Christ, the Son, is a person. Even Job said that God, the Father, is a person. All right? Glory to God. And then, of course, Paul said that Jesus Christ is a person. We've already proved and shown you all that. So if you want to be foolish and not take the word of God, and you would rather hear man than God, go right ahead. Go right, go, go right ahead. All right? Now, Revelation chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. Verse 2, And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? Verse 3, And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look, their own. Verse 4, And I wept much, because no, one, no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look their own. Verse 5, And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prepared to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. Verse 6, and I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as it has been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. Verse 7, And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. All right, let's look at verse 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, 
having every one of them harps and golden vows full of orders which are the prayers of the saints. All right, let's look at verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by the blood, by thy blood, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Look at verse 10. And has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. All right, so we see out of those verses, we see God the Father who is sitting on the throne, all right, who has a book in his right hand, and we see that the Lamb who was slain, who is that? Jesus Christ comes and take the book out of the right hand of God the Father, all right? So Jesus Christ cannot be God the Father because God the Father is the one that's sitting on the throne, and Jesus Christ who is the lamb, comes and take the book out of the right hand of God the Father. So we see that Tommy Ingram preaches false doctrine. And all of these oneness folk that teaches, that teach all of these oneness folk that teach that Jesus Christ is God. I'm sorry, Jesus Christ is God the Father. Now Jesus Christ is God. See, there is no fuss with me on Jesus Christ being God, because Jesus Christ is God, all right? But he's not God the Father. God the Father is distinct from Jesus Christ, who is God, all right? So Tommy Ingram cannot take Revelation chapter 5, he cannot take Revelation chapter 5 and show us that God the Father is Jesus Christ, Oh, Jesus Christ is God the Father. Now he can show us that Jesus Christ is God, which we all agree, but he cannot show us that Jesus Christ is God the Father because that is not in the word. The Bible does not teach that. So these folk are teaching false doctrine. All right, they are going contrary to what the word is teaching. And because they don't believe in Jesus Christ and God the Father, they can have no salvation. They are lost. All right, my brothers, sisters, and friends, we'll see you on the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.